Oh, wow. What a view, huh? Beautiful. Yeah, amazing. You might be a good photographer, but the scenery helps, huh? Me? I know. I'm a good scenery. <laughs> I could be put in any scene, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Not you, man. I'd fit in any scene. I know. <laughs> I can't believe you. Hello from paradise. When you see pictures and videos of Bali, this is what you normally see, right? Peaceful, beautiful places. Yes, there's this, but don't fool yourself. Bali is not a fishing village with a couple thousand people. So if you're just starting to plan a trip here, let me start from the basic. There's no city called Bali. Bali is an island in a province in Indonesia, home to millions of people. Having a good time there? <laughs> I'm here filming and look at where he is. <laughs> Here there are various cities. The capital of Bali is called Denpasar. This is where you land. And just for you to have an idea, Denpasar is the second largest city in Eastern Indonesia. There's also Kuta, Ubud, smaller islands, and these are all places you should visit. That doesn't mean it's not a paradise. It can still be, as long as you know how to enjoy it. So in this and my next few videos, I'm going to show you some of the regions, some of the top things to do in Bali, and some of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. So now I'm going to the pool, and then to the beach. <laughs> Just in the shade. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. 150 for two, that's why he was charging. <laughs> one beer, two chair, 100. Can you look at me? I don't have time. <laughs> I need the two beer to take off my shirt here. Everyone's gonna laugh at me. Two beer, come on. Thank you. Price is going down. There we got two chairs and one beer for 100. One beer, 30,000. <laughs> 100, 20. Thank you. What's the compression? 50 for two. 50 for two. Yeah. We'll take it. Thank you. We started 150, got it down to 80. Don't know if that's more. 88. 88,000 for two chairs and a beer. Don't know if that's good or bad, but it is what it is here. You're a good negotiator. No, you got not. the price down. No, anybody can do that. No, not anybody. Yes. Take some credit now. No, so I'll take credit where I do. You're a good negotiator. We ended up paying half the price because of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For you to understand Bali, this here is the entire island. You can divide your trip, let's say you spend two, three days in the south, two, three days in the north, then the islands, or you can also stay in one area and do day trips to the various parts. This is actually what we're doing, as you don't want to check in and check out of various hotels. If you're looking for parties, beach, surfing, you should be in the south, right here. Now, if you're looking for culture, temples, rice terraces, waterfalls, you should be in central Bali, around Ubud. You can't see everything there is to see in Bali because there is too much. Not even if you think, oh, I want the main attractions. It's a lot, a lot of stuff. Not even if you spend a month, two months here. So for me, it was really hard to prepare an itinerary for this trip as I wanted to see as many main attractions as I could. I ended up choosing a mix of beaches, viewpoints, temples, and also at least one waterfall and one rice terrace. And one thing to know, there are a lot of tourists here everywhere you go. So prepare to share the paradise. In the series here in Bali, I'm going to show you the most famous areas on the island. In this first video you see here, Semenya and Chengdu. But it is kind of cold. Now what do you expect for Southeast Asia? 
This is Double Six Beach in Seminyak. All the beaches here in this area have darker sand, as Bali is a volcanic island. The advantage is that it's easy to get to these beaches here. Some of the most beautiful beaches in Bali that you see online are really hard to get to, you know, with a lot of up and down stairs and some challenging trails. These beaches in this area here are also a great place to learn how to surf. You know, we actually arrived in Bali a week ago. We've been coming to the beach every single day to walk along the beach, and we see a lot of surf classes everywhere you go. It is nothing to do here. <laughs> so nice to see the sunset like this, huh? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. You know what ocean is it here? Antarctica. It's the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean? Yes. Yeah. How do you say that in Portuguese? Oceano Indiano? No! <laughs> Indico, Oceano Indico. No, Indiano Oceano. Indico. Indiano, Indiano, Indiano Oceano. I try to teach him, you know. It's difficult. <laughs> the sunset like we did or if you come to the beach clubs here they all put out these nice cushions they like candles and there's live music it is so cool this is a huge place but if this is the most important meal yes that's right that's right morning with a nice breakfast by the pool. Quick shower and now we're ready for more. We're walking towards the main area in Seminyak and there's this beachfront walk here for motorcycles as well, not only pedestrians, so you gotta be careful. The beach is right over there, there are bars over here, it's really nice. Hey, look at this pool here. Seminyak Beach, it's actually just the same beach compared to where we were. Double six beaches, 30 minutes walking that way. Oceanfront Temple, huh? Indonesia is the most populous Muslim-majority country in the world, but here in Bali, it's the opposite. Hindus are more than 80% of the population here, and Hinduism here is different from Hinduism in India or the rest of Asia. Here is a mix of traditional Hinduism with local beliefs. These here are the two most important temples in Seminyak. Pura Petitinge and Pura Maseti, side by side. There are more than 20,000 temples here in Bali, so don't worry if you don't get to see these two specifically. In fact, now we're going to visit one of the most famous here in Bali, Tana Lot. It's north of here. We'll pass Chenggu, another famous community as well. And on the way back, we stop there to check it out. 50,000 rupees to get in here. Not much, but it adds up, right? And as we're gonna visit other temples, we'll pass. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Square. Seminyak Square is kind of like a mall with shops. There are some stands here too, restaurants. There's even a hotel over there. I get a Balinese dish and you go with a club sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> 
regional dish here in Bali for lunch. This is chicken curry with Balinese spices and coconut milk. And there are some crackers here too. Like it? Good. This shrimp here too, mm -hmm. right? It's like a shrimp cracker. Mm. It's very tasty, really good, very spicy too. <laughs> here in Seminyak you find lots of inviting restaurants and trendy bars. It is a more expensive area to stay and to eat. You know, online you find people saying that you can eat in Bali for 30,000 to 50,000 rupiah. Not here. Here, minimum 70 or 80,000 rupiah, even for local Balinese food like I had. It is really easy to get a grab in Seminyak. They're everywhere and very affordable. If you've never been to Southeast Asia, a grab is like Uber. Some areas here in Bali don't allow grabs, so for the other days, we'll actually get a driver. When you watch videos here on YouTube, everyone will tell you to rent a scooter. Indeed, you go faster as you don't get stuck in traffic, but let me be honest here, there's a lot of traffic here, a lot of people, a lot of motorbikes everywhere. This is not for first timers. We prefer the convenience and the safety of a car. Hello. One house, one temple. One house, one temple, wow. Welcome to Tanalot Temple. It is a beautiful complex here. You think it's just a temple that you arrive and you see? No, it's huge actually. Our driver drove inside the complex to drop us as close as he could. And here you still walk a lot. Look at how many temples there are here. This is the most famous one. Kuraluhuk Tanalot. Look at this, how charming. Everywhere you look. thousand rupiah to get in. Here's something interesting that our driver told us. Grab drivers can drop you inside, but they cannot pick you up here. On the way out, you need to walk like eight minutes outside the temple area. There's a gate and you're gonna see. Such a pleasant walk here. Beautiful place. Wow. You see this? Ask for information. Yeah. Will you ask? Yeah. Why? I got my own drone. <laughs> I got my own. But they're not renting. <laughs> you might be a good photographer, but the scenery helps. I know. I'm good scenery. <laughs> I could be put in any scene, right? Oh, no. <laughs> not you, man. I fit in any scene. I know. Not you. Tanalot has been part of the Balinese mythology for centuries. It's a temple heavily influenced by Hinduism. What? You found offerings with chocolate. Yes. Shh, I took one piece. No, you didn't. No. No. <laughs> God, the God. No. No. Don't, don't no. I get one? Don't touch. Don't take anything. Don't step on it. Pay very close attention to these offerings. Look at this, how amazing temples everywhere you look. There's this one right here. Another one here, and the main Tanalot right there. Brazil? Yes! Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, you know Ronaldo, there you go. Yeah. You live in Bali? No, I am living in uh, West Sulawesi. I love Bali and I'm coming here. There's a temple. Uh -huh. Beautiful place. Yes, and... so beautiful. And can people go there? I think people can, yeah. right? When the ocean is yeah. not so yeah, strong. It's, it's, it's extreme people. <laughs> What is your favorite place in Bali? Tagalalang Trice. It's a nature uh -huh. so atmosphere, so I like that. Uh -huh. Because from I'm from the city uh -huh. and I go to the village. So, yeah! Beautiful! Woo! <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much! <laughs> Thank you, terima kasih! Yeah, terima kasih, Wanya, <laughs> Another YouTuber. I love meeting YouTubers. This is Pura Luhur Tanalot, the main temple. 
when the tide is low, you can walk to the temple right here. Not the case today, <laughs> but there's another solution over there. You see where people are crossing over there? Yeah. <laughs> you have the courage? Why not? Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I think it's all right. Tana Lot pays homage to the guardian spirits of the sea. Ready? Uh, okay. Yes? Well, hold on a sec. How are you going? <laughs> I'm here with sandals. It's slippery. There are some rocks on the bottom and it's a little slippery, but it's easy to cross. Hello. Holy water. Ah, it's holy water over there. Ah, Terimakasi. When you arrive here, there are lots of gentlemen just waiting for you. They point out the holy water for you to wash your face, purify yourself, and then someone comes, puts this on your forehead, gives you a flower, and immediately asks for a donation. And his friend, he will stand right there until you donate. And on this side here, there's not much, because you cannot access the temple here. At least I got a flower. <laughs> you got no flower, baby. <laughs> The place to come for sunset here is full of bars all over, and the sunset happens right over there. I'm sure they have fantastic views here. Tanalot is one of the seven sea temples around the Balinese coast. Each temple was established within eyesight of one another, and the idea was to create a chain of spiritual protection for Bali. get another grab now, you gotta leave the temple area and keep walking about five to eight minutes. See, not allowed here. It's allowed to drop you off, but you cannot get another one from here. We're now in Chengdu, and this is another nice community full of cafes, bars, and also with a lot of expats and foreigners. The community is very charming. This is a beach club, famous beach club here called Old Man's. The beach is right there, parking lot here. 2,000 for motorbikes or 5,000 for cars. What seems to be a challenge here is grab. Picking up in Tanalot was complicated. We had to walk a certain distance. That area is for taxis only. And even here in Chengdu, grab cars can't go everywhere. So let's see how easy it will be to get back. Anyways, here's the beach, full of surfers. And kind of similar to Seminyak. Seminyak is just down that way. Here's like in Seminyak, darker sand, rougher sand as well. But here there are more rocks and seaweed, a lot more surface too. Not the nicest beach I've ever seen. I agree. Wait, in a separate video, I'll show you the previous beaches here in Bali. It's just they're not in this area, more towards the south. Ready to eat? Yeah, to drink. <laughs> to drink, yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Terimakasi. What is it that you bought? Coconut fries. And what is it? Is it the real coconut? And then they fry it? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. It is so good. Mm. You like the spice? There's barely any spice. No, there is. It's good. It's really good. I love it. And for me, a fruit bowl here. Strawberries, blueberries, bananas, coconut, and granola on top. A smoothie is right underneath the fruits. Very smoothie. Perfect choice for a beach. You know what? One thing that I thought was interesting here, we're sitting oceanfront, right? And prices here are cheaper than in Seminyak. Yeah. And I'm not even comparing oceanfront to oceanfront. It's cheaper than anywhere there, basically. Nice place for the sunset. Yeah, I made choice. Yeah, it was my choice coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> Except that it was not yours. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Keep calm and say. I love you. Oh, a little more romantic, please. <laughs> Keep calm and say. 
all of you. Oh, <laughs> much better. Hey, the romantical. Huh? King of romance. You? <laughs> Wrong person, baby. <laughs> Dude. That's my boy. You don't want to get your boss involved, because my boss, I got to get my boss involved. <laughs> He's a tough nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to hey, hey, boss. <laughs> Painted in the Portuguese, eh? Uh, Balladez. Balladez? <laughs> Hola. Indiano, Oceano. Indico. Oceano, Indiano. Indico. Indico. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.